So hi everyone, uh, my name is Nun Teixeira and today we are going to hit the section 3 and explore the results for bars, okay? But first of all, I would like to make an appointment over here. When you go to results, advanced model analysis, we get the total mass in pounds it's a mass unit of uh, this value, okay? This is just the pure self-weight of the of our structural system, okay? Uh, as we didn't change anything here on the load to mass conversion. So the robot is just considering the weight of the structure, nothing else. We are not passing any dead load or live load case to the to the seismic wave okay so if you want to do that we are going to make it as it is just how they did here in uh, the autodesk just how they did here in the autodesk university we are not going to change that but take note of that robot is just considering the self weight of the structure you may see that on tables in quantity survey you come here and you may check that the total weight of the structure is 27 kilopounds of force plus the self weight of the panels the concrete panel weights 171 kilopounds of force and here we got 11 if you sum that and you make the conversion you may arrive over here so now let's explore the results here so first of all let's take a look at the results regarding regarding the bars okay we go to results diagram for bars i'm going to close the object inspector okay so now i want to see the bending moment diagrams for this structure and there we go if you select par parameters you may change the look of it okay you may want the text just the global extremes and you may want, may, may want positive and negative values differentiate and fill okay there you go we are regarding to this uh, we are seeing the bending moment diagrams for destruction regarding this case that load one but you may change the case okay so now let's take a look at the tables let me just select tables and I want to see the results, the reactions, the forces and also the displacements. Okay, forces, no displacements and reactions. Okay, I'm going to open these three tables. First of all, let's take a look at the forces. Okay, so here we have a table oriented, oriented in this way bar node case for bar number one node number one in case number one we've got these forces find something over here on the envelope and this will give you the maximum uh, forces okay first of all for bar number one and node number one this uh, uh, funny this uh, uh, funny gray areas over here and over here and over here Give you gives you the envelope of forces okay let's take a look at that for bar number one and node one the maximum f x forces is in combination 29 and the minimum is in the case 5 also if you want the f y force maximum you've got combination number 18 minimum 5 i think you got the idea okay at any moment is maximum here you may select only some nodes I don't know maybe node number 10 and 12 and press enter bar 1 node 1 okay and there you go with your envelope also the global extremes over here same thing for the reactions it's just organized in the same way node and case it's gonna be is it's gonna obviously it's going to give you the nodes that have some kind of support and on the displacement you may check the nodal displacements here in a tabular way if you want to export these to a cvs you just right click and conversion to excel cvs format this will give you this will ask you where you want to put this just hit 
the the file where you want to locate this so now let's close this and take a look at we check the panel forces or uh, the exploration exploring results on surfaces okay so I'm going to be to results and maps as I only have modeled this upper surface with finite elements I will only get results for this uh, panel I may ask for the bending moments there you go I want the envelope I'm going to ask combinations. Not the very best choice. I'm going to choose ultimate limit state 1. I'm going to choose ultimate limit state uh, 5. Okay, and you may see here the bending moments regarding the direction of this panel going to isolate this I just want the panel let me quit out of this select this panel and hit isolate and now we can turn on the local systems okay this is a bending moment in Y in X you may also ask for the membrane forces okay if you want to see the finite element mesh, you may check this and apply and you can check the finite element mesh and also with the description at the finite element centers or you may choose other things, extreme points only and there we go and also the characteristic points over here so um, now let's check the deformations also you may come to the tab deformation and uh, you may check the displacements over here just press the Z option and you may check the displacements on a colorful way or also ask for a presentation of this it's a cool presentation as you may see robot is able to do this you may you may ask for something like an animation like this okay if you model this with finite element panels you get this sort of animation okay so now you can explore your results the way you want to always remember this legend in the right corner okay gives you the, a proper magnitude of the forces gives you the over here you've got the legend regarding the colors okay you've got the force that you are checking in this case the membrane forces the units and also always the case that you are checking here okay I'm gonna quit out of this press exit and also exit over here so I want to do one further thing to show you one cool thing that I've seen elsewhere uh, when I press calculations I get a warning that I have a instability of type 3 detected at node 35 in the direction R Y okay I'm going to press escape to ignore of this remember it's node 35 the best way when you have a finite element match to check where is node 35 you have many ways to do that you can come here and press 35 so where is it uh, well I don't know I may turn on this node numbering <laughs> it's still difficult to check where is node 35 at least I guess it is not so difficult in this example because we've got here node 35 but you may have an instability problem regarding type 1 or type 2 or type 3 like we have here in a finite element match and it might get pretty difficult to see where that node is so one simple way to do that is to come over here in the display 
And you have an option over here that says display attributes only for the selected objects. What this means is that if you turn this on, robot is simply going to show and turn off all the things that are not selected and are going to show you what you have selected only for the things that you have selected. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and the robot is going to highlight node 35, the one that I am going to select and turn off all the other nodes. I'm going to apply. As you may see, everything is turned off. I come here, I press node 35 and there it is, node 35 over here, uh, maybe 100. Oh, it's over here, as you may see. This is a cool way to find these nodes when you, you just don't know where they are, okay? So, I'm actually running out of time, so once again, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next video, we are going to talk about one thing that I find pretty strong in robot, as I said previously, which is a steel design workflow. So, once again, uh, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like, it will help me very much. And um, please subscribe. Thank you very much.